Hello mga kabibes! It's me, Teacher M! And welcome to our math tutorial! So, mega mega shoutout muna tayo sa ating mga avid viewers. So, umpisahan natin sa mga kapatid na si Lani at sa atin niya. Mega mega shoutout sa inyo. Pati sa mga classmates ni Lani na nagpapashoutout din. Kay Arjem and Maki Kanzana. Hello sa inyo. Mega shoutout. Pati na rin kay Josh Lagdameo. At pati na rin kay Zach Merhilia. At subscribe na rin pala ng YouTube channel ni Marbleians and bagong-bagong channel ni Sir P TV. So sana supportahan niyo, subscribe. At para naman sa mga bago lang sa channel ko, huwag kalilimutan subscribe and paki-click na rin ang bell button para lagi kayong updated sa mga ina-upload kong videos. So wag na natin patagalin ba? Tara. Umpisahan na natin ang math tutorial. Let's begin. So, continuation pa rin ito ng ating lesson about operations on fractions, specifically about multiplication. So, in multiplication of fractions, so, hindi na natin kailangan i-consider kung similar fractions or dissimilar fractions. So, ito yung mga symbols na ginagamit na nag indicate na ito ay multiplication. So, lahat ng yan ay multiplication symbols. So, let's proceed now to number one. Multiply the following and write your answer in the simplest form. Basta marunong kang mag-times or mag-multiply ng numbers, eh, kaya-kaya niya na. Kahit fractions pa yan. 3 over 7 times 2 over 5. The top numbers or the numerators are 3 and 2. Okay, multiply natin. 3 times 2. Okay, 3 times 2 equals 6. The next step is multiply the bottom numbers. Okay, yung bottom or the denominators. 7 times 5 equals 35. And then, we arrive with 6 over 35. Is this the final answer? Simplify the fraction if needed. So, do you think it is in its simplest form already? Wala ng common factor ang 6 and 35. So, therefore, it will be the final answer. Okay, let's proceed now to number 2. Okay, again, multiply the top numbers, the numerators, 5 times 2 equals 10. And the bottom numbers or the denominators, 6 times 3 equals 18. So, the product is 10 over 18. And this time, we can reduce it by getting the GCF of 10 and 18. What are the factors of 10? So we have 1 times 10, 2 times 5. So the factors are 1, 2, 5, and 10. And in 18, we have 1 times 18, 2 times 9, 3 times 6. All those are factors of 18. So getting GCF, the greatest common factor, will be 2. So we need to divide 10 and 18 by 2. 10 divided by 2 equals 5. 18 divided by 2 equals 9. So the product of 5 over 6 and 2 over 3 is 5 over 9. That will be the final answer. There is another method to get the product of these fractions. And we call it the cancellation method. So when we say cancellation, yan. Kita nyo, nag-cross. We need to reduce the numbers by getting their greatest common factor. We have 5 and 3 
walang common factor other than 1, hindi natin yan pwedeng i-reduce. But when it comes to 2 and 6, I think, yes, these numbers can be reduced by dividing by GCF. So the GCF will be 2. So divide 2 by 2 and 6 by 2. So we already have these fractions. So we can now proceed to multiplication. Multiply numerators by numerator and denominator by denominator. Okay, 5 times 1 equals 5 and 3 times 3 equals 9. So we arrive with 5 over 9. Same with the previous method that we used. Okay, let's proceed now to number 3. So ano naman yung gagawin nyo kung, kung i-multiply natin ay whole number dun sa fraction. Kailangan so tatandaan na kapag whole number, kapag sinulat natin to into fraction, the denominator will always be 1. So we can write it as 7 over 1 times 2 over 5. If cancellation is possible, then proceed to cancellation. So possible ba yung cancellation? Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. So hindi pwede kasi walang common factors. Okay, so proceed now. 7 times 2 is 14. 1 times 5 equals 5. So we have 14 over 5. Now, it is improper fraction. Big sabihin, mas mataas yung numerator kesa sa denominator. Pwede natin tong isulat in mixed number by dividing 14 by 5. 14 divided by 5 is 2. 2 times 5 10. And then, 14 minus 10 equals 4. Then, 4 will be the numerator and 5 will be the denominator. We have 2 and 4 over 5. So it means that 14 over 5 is equal to 2 and 4 over 5. Depende sa instruction. No, pero kung wala naman nakalagay na specific na form, pwede ang final answer ay mixed number or improper fraction. So, walang problema doon. Wow! Paano naman kapag ang tanong ay mixed numbers ang ipagmumultiply? <laughs> Change mixed number to improper fraction by multiplying the denominator by the whole number. 6 times 10 is 60 plus kung ano yung numerator. So, plus 5. Over, then copy the given denominator, 6. 60 plus 5, 65. So, we have 65 over 6. So, yun yung magiging improper fraction. Doon naman tayo sa kasunod na given. So, ganun din. 3 times 3 is 9 plus 1. Then, copy the denominator, which is 3. So, 10 over 3. So, pwede na natin i-multiply yung bago nating fractions. Yung ating nakuhang improper fractions. Then, check muna natin. Observe if possible yung cancellation. Kapag hindi, then proceed na lang sa multiplication. Possible ba? 65 and 3, possible? No? Okay. But, 10 and 6, pwede. Okay. So, by... 2. 10 divided by 2 and 6 divided by 2. Simplify na natin. We have 65 over 3 times 5 over 3. Pwede na natin i-multiply. We have 325 divided by 9. So, if we need to change it into mixed number, again, divide lang natin. 325 divided by 9. Ilang 9 meron sa 32? So, we have 3. 9 times 3 is 27. 32 minus 27 is 5. We need to bring down 5. So, it becomes 55. 55 divided by 9, 6. 6 times 9 is 54. 55 minus 54 equals 1. So, kapag ganito na, yung 1 or yung remainder, yun yung magiging numerator dun sa fraction and yung divisor, yung magiging denominator. The product of 10 and 5 over 6 and 3 and 1 over 3 equals 36 and 1 over 9. What if the givens are more than 
two fractions. Pwede ba yun? Pwede. So, pwede multiply nyo na sabay-sabay. Like this. Okay, 1 times 2 times 1 is 2. And 6 times 3 times 4 equals 72. 2 over 72. But, di pa ito yung simplest form. Pwede pa natin i-divide by 2. 2 divided by 2. And 7 divided by 2. We have 1 over 36. Okay, di ba very basic lang? Kayang-kaya? Okay, sige na. Tingnan natin kung natutunan nyo talaga. Sige, practice. Ready ka na? Time's up. Let us check your answer. The answer is 25 over 8. Or 3 and 1 over 8. Number 2. Time's up! The answer is 45 over 2 or 22 and 1 half. Okay, palakpakan sa lahat ng tumama. Very good. Okay, and last but not the least. Time's up. The correct answer is 1 over 3. Okay, very good. Malakpakan. Ngayon, ang gagaling. Diba? Napakadali lang. Practice lang ng practice para lalo kayong gumaling sa mat. Sana nakatulong ang video na to at kung nagustuhan nyo, huwag kalilimutang mag-iwan ng bakas, like, at pakashare na rin para malaman din ng iba na napakadali lang ng multiplication of fractions. So, salamat sa pagsama, salamat sa panonood. Laging tatandaan, bawal ang nega. Good vibes lang! Thank you, thank you for watching. Till my next video! Bye!